Um, so Melina, the woman that Destiny was in a poly Mind relationship with, is now apparently accusing him of domestic abuse. This is a really shocking development. Nobody saw this coming. Um, I'm irritated by a couple things. Uh, one thing I'm irritated about... is that my ex-wife has reached out to a ton of people. Uh, at least, I'll say at least five mutual friends have alerted me. I have no idea how many other are affected. Uh, basically saying that <clears throat> I've lied about a ton of stuff and that I am abusive. Uh, where I guess abusive means I've lied before. <laughs> Uh, or cheated. That's like what abusive means now, I guess. Which is chill. You know, I'm cool with that. Sometimes we... Um, I'm cool with I'm that. He says, I'm being things. accused of being a domestic abuser. I'm uh, cool with that, though. I agree with that definition. I just say, I just deny the accusation. <laughs> cool. Very cool, Destiny. He also did something also really cool. Destiny has some kind of mental condition. I don't know. It's It's really sad. Because he was one of the only people ever, ever, and this is my this is my hang up with him. Like he was one of the only people ever to stick his neck out and say anything about the kiwi farms that wasn't wholesale negative. And he wrote a really detailed, really comprehensive takedown of all the suicide accusations about the forum, uh, making him one of the only reliable like third party narratives about the forum that I could ever use in my defense. But he's such a retard. He's such a fucking retard, and he says the dumbest shit imaginable all the fucking time, and I don't know why he's like this. And so this person, I mentioned on my last stream that there was a, a man, um, I think in the UK, who was walking into a barn, taking his belt off, wrapping it around baby cows' necks, and sodomizing them to death. The most sadistic kind of thing you could ever fucking do. A clear sign of a sadosexual uh, thrill killer who will become a serial killer in the future. Uh, let go with like one year of probation or something. It was like a really meager sentence. It was ridiculous. When clearly he should just be shot dead because he's a threat to society. Um... Eliza says the man raped calves until he died. He choked baby calves. He needs to be put down like a dog with rabies or chemically castrated. He's a danger to society. A friendly reminder that people who are chemically castrated still offend. Um, but Destiny replies to this saying, uh, like in the action notation, nods affirmingly between bites of cheeseburger. And I know what his argument is. His argument is that meat eating and meat consumption is no different than animal abuse. Uh, when you probably consider the argument. And I've heard this argument before. Uh, if you are a longtime listener of my podcast, you will know that I once had an argument with YMS and YMS made the exact same argument in defense of a guy who was fucking his dog. Oh, no. You know what? It, okay. Here's what it was. He was sucking his dog off. He had a shitty little dog and he was giving it blowjobs. And a Adam actually came to this guy's defense and said, there is literally no harm in giving a dog a blowjob. Um, and in defense of this, he said that it was the same as giving a dog a blowjob is demonstrably less abusive than, um, than meat eating. And this might have been a convincing argument in, to some people. However, there's a problem with that. Uh, the dog died. The dog received a urinary tract infection and died. So, because obviously a dog's sexual parts are not designed to, uh, filter out the kind of bacteria that exists in a human mouth. So the result of giving this dog a blowjob was that it fucking died in an excruciating way. And uh, so it's not really the same as meat eating. And now, but you know, at least in YMS's perspective, he, he has a belief that animals can consent. Um, I, the, the argument, I guess that if you can get up to a female lion and fuck a female lion, if the lion doesn't turn around and claw your throat out, then it's consensual. I suppose that's the argument. And in some retarded perspectives, I, I, that might be persuasive. However, in destiny's perspective, uh, you have someone who is, there's no consent at all. There's no way to construe this as being a consensual thing. When you tie down a baby animal and fuck it to death. When you rupture its colon and it bleeds out, uh, there is no consent involved. 
there's no possible way to construe that as a mutual uh, relationship like YMS would do with with certain animal sex relationships, which is weird, but whatever. Um, Destiny is like, yeah, sure, meat eating is the same as fucking baby animals to death. And his argument, I suppose, so apparently what people will do, what he, the people say he does, is that he will make a dipshit ass statement like this that has an obvious uh, argumentative counter to it. And then he'll say, hey, jump on my stream, bro. I'll debate you, bro. Smiley face. And then you get on his stream, and then he's just sitting there playing Factorio, and he'll spin up all these argumentative, uh, like, debate bro uh, linguistic tricks to try and bait you into, a, like, a different argument than you expect. Like, he'll focus super hard on the the vegan aspect and try to compare, try to argue the ethics of veganism. Uh, while not really addressing the retardedness of his initial claim. So it's it's so frustrating that like when one of the only people who's genuinely neutral who ever said anything in defense of the Kiwi Farms is like one of the dumbest faggots ever. It's frustrating, chat. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.